How's it going? Welcome to my first video regarding class engraving using a Dremel rotary tool, uh, some bits, and uh, glass. Uh, it's glass engraving. I just started about a month ago and uh, as, a, as a new hobby. I researched it um, online, found a few different uh, places to learn a couple different techniques but uh, they seemed fairly advanced for a, a beginner so uh, this video series is to help the beginner out there um, not get discouraged because you have to start at, at a, you know you have to start at the beginning so <clears throat> the first thing you're gonna need is your basic Dremel rotary tool I have uh, this one here. Um, it cost me about twenty twenty-five dollars. Um, I believe this is uh, uh, Dremel two hundred two hundred high, maybe. And it just has two speeds: low and high. Um, in this video, I'm not going to really get into uh, the Dremel tool itself uh, or how it works I just want this to be an overview um, and then we'll get into the details in in other videos but uh, I just want to show how I started um, so this is uh, the Dremel tool that I bought $25 uh, it came with um, its own uh, kind of startup kit which had a couple different um, bits included um, and by bits, I mean these these uh, exchangeable bits that you can put on the Dremel tool itself. Um, after playing around with some of them, I decided to get into um, engraving. Uh, at first, my first thought was engraving wood, get into woodworking. But then uh, I researched a little bit and read up on some and noticed that uh, glass was a, a medium that I could do. So after that I bought uh, myself kind of a, a, a Dremel um, kit that had a little bit more tools or more bits. And so that's this one. This one went for about 20 more dollars. And it has a little bit more things like a sand uh, stuff to sand with um, polishing polishing wheels and um, you know just basically your basic startup kit even more so than the one that came with the actual rotary tool um, my very first project into glass was a very simple uh, shot glass um, I bought it at the dollar store. So uh, three of these came in a in a pack for a dollar. So I figured, oh, you know, what better way to kind of just mess around and see what I can come up with. Uh, you can see on this one, I actually retouched this a little bit since my very first time. But uh, you can see I kind of just try to freehand it. So my numbers are kind of all squiggly. Looks like a three-year-old made them. Um, you can see that there uh, and I just wanted a basic heart shape let me see if maybe we can get uh, a light on it So you can kind of see the heart right there. So very simple. Uh, I got to admit, at first, because of the videos that I had seen were done by extremely talented professionals. Uh, <laughs> uh, and they make it look so easy. At first, I was kind of discouraged, to be honest about it. So this one, I, you know. You gotta start somewhere, but 
it was a little bit discouraging and like I said there aren't very many uh, you know extremely beginner videos or tutorials or anything out there uh, on the internet YouTube Google uh, even books there's really not much on glass engraving so I kind of took it upon myself and by the way I've only been doing this for about a month so as these videos keep going you can kind of see my journey uh, hopefully I get I get better and as a matter of fact this brings me to my next point which is um, you do get better with uh, with uh, more projects that you do my uh, second project even though I was discouraged I liked the hobby right away because it, it's, it's so so easy so I bought another dollar store glass and I made this fairly simple uh, flower design on it then I went ahead and did another one and this one turned out even better um, I was trying to get the, the gist of it it was around that time right before this design uh, because I had been using the the, the burrs that came with the Dremel tool it was right before this design and actually probably right before this design that I researched some more and I figured out that I needed a little bit better burrs which um, are what those bits on the Dremel had for glass engraving uh, I needed a little bit better ones and they're called diamond burrs and this is what they look like and they are actually um, very economical they're uh, this pack only cost seven dollars uh, and I I believe I got this uh, uh, through Amazon via third-party uh, seller um, so for six dollars and I got all these and um, my work because it comes with really fine tips and different shapes so I, I definitely saw improvement in my work at this point um, so again going back to my other my design that I was able to make with these I was getting better and the product was uh, definitely coming along from my very first shot glass the one I did after that was uh, a basic name and the one after that I was definitely starting to come along as far as uh, different techniques um, uh, different ways of using the diamond burrs and which ones to do it was at this point uh, that I I mean this looks good this looks kind of nice I mean obviously there's still there were still places that you know like with practice you know I, this was a little slip up on, on the burr uh, so you see a little bit of that and of course I can see it uh, fairly I can spot these fairly easily um, but um, it was a, I knew that with more practice that those would go away um, but I also wanted to get more into uh, 3d effects um, with glass engraving as you can see this looks nice but it's more of a 2d um, all of these designs are two-dimensional looking um, and if you go through YouTube and uh, glass engraving it's more about uh, a 3d effect Really, I mean, even though this looks, you know, for your normal beginner, this this will do, you know. Um, so I researched some more, and I'll show you this one. And it's really about the depth and the different type of grits you use. So my next one, I decided to, I'm a San Francisco Giants baseball fan. Um, I decided to go for something like this on a plate. So my next one, I decided to, uh, you know, engrave uh, San Francisco baseball giants uh, on a plate. And uh, I gotta say, so far, this is definitely one of the better ones. Uh, you know, only only a few weeks in, I managed to get this kind of result. Um, you can kind of tell that I'm start I'm starting to get the different depths and the different diamond what the different diamond bits burrs uh, are capable of doing um, 
around this time as well there's a and we'll get into it a little bit more on, on the next few videos as far as uh you know how to get these designs onto the plate um, but like i said this one's a, a, a overview of how far uh, you can get in a small amount of time um, at the beginning uh, you kind of want to get uh, a lot of different glass like if you if you're into if you get into the hobby right away you want to get uh, you know a whole bunch of glass and try to see what the bursts do and try to get designs on there because like i said practice kind of starts making perfect yeah not this is again um to me this is i want to get a lot better uh, here so that was my last one and now i have another one that i'm working on and instead of buying you know a whole bunch of plates like a target or dollar store I decided to use a a crown royal bottle you know it was almost finished so um, went ahead and finished it uh, the, using you know, the bottle cleaned it up took the front label off and now I'm currently working on this uh, as you can see I have uh, started to draw a design on the front uh, the idea is to make this one a flower uh, vase flower pot i guess not pot just flower vase put water in it and put some you know flowers in there mm. so i start, started to draw you know the basic design um uh with with a with a very fine point sharpie uh you can see that there um uh I've drawn it it's not tracing per se but i did you know find a design online and I'm just kind of taking that not necessarily copying it but using the different shapes and flowers to kind of I mean, you can see it's not the same exact thing but just using it as a as a base to go off of and then and then going from there so there's there's that design there um and there's the whole bottle um on some of these next videos i'm going to go deeper and show the progression of this bottle and see how it turns out um after my because of, like i said I, I i'm trying to get more into the 3d effect of it so uh, after doing some more research i have bought what are called rubber polishing burst these went you know this set went for about uh, 15 dollars uh, online and it has three different grits for polishing now the idea and we'll see this on the other videos is to use different grits and different bits to create different shades on the glass so we have these which will kind of scratch up the glass a little bit um, these which are the diamond burrs these go deeper and they make the glass lighter when you know when light shines on it and then the polishing burrs to make like a fade effect into smooth glass um, in other words create darker darker shades um, so uh, as I load more videos, hopefully you'll join me. You'll join me in this journey, and uh, we'll see how good we can get. Uh, like I said, this is a glass engraving for extreme beginners. I'm a beginner myself, so I'm not gonna sit here acting like uh, I'm a professional, uh, <laughs> you know, glass engraving artist. There's um, a lot of very talented engravers out there. Um, that you can you can you can see their great great work and i'm just trying to get to a level uh like that here in a few years but this is uh the very beginning of this journey so come join me and uh if you if you like the hobby or you're getting into it yourself we can learn together and get better so uh we'll see you next time